Jay, we're at the beginning of camp. Yeah, uh, very start, hello. Yeah. Not really start training to be fair since the last one got pulled and all the lockdown started. It's not been in the gym as much, but we've been we've still been training, taking all the rubber ups, not let us off. But it, so. but it but it's hard to keep yourself focused without a fight day. It is. And yeah. we're one of the lucky few because the thirteenth of September. 13th of September, yeah. Uh is it hangar thirty four or something? Hangar thirty four in Liverpool. Um, it's a really good venue actually for, for what they're doing for a behind closed doors thing which will be um, streamed on iconic sports. They just the, the venue lends itself perfectly to like a for the atmosphere, not for the atmosphere because there'll be no crowd there, but for the lighting and all the, the sound yeah. effects and so it's like a, the like rain well. Yeah. yeah. So I think it'll come across really well on the um, on the stream. Uh, and and again, uh, a, a bit of a gamble, mate. Uh, a, bit, a gamble for him and yeah. a gamble for you. Yeah, I mean, you're both on Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's uh, seven and zero. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you're four and zero. Yeah. Um, a little bit hard to 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 read into his career because. He's been a pro 13 years. Mm, long time. He's had a couple of uh, quite long breaks. Started off back in 2017 where he had four fights, two win uh, four wins with mm -hmm. two stoppages. And then he had, a, I think, about a four year break. Right. Uh, came back with a couple more wins. And then a six year break and came back at the end of last year. Yeah. Well, I just look at it as it's a long time being a pro, it's a long time learning. So, you know, it's a step up for me, seven and all, like we say. Like, a big step up. It is. Um, but what I feel like I'm ready for, you know, it, it, I've seen I've seen bits of it. Uh, he looks strong, you know, comes forward, aggressive. Um, yeah, it's gonna, like we say, it's gonna be gonna be my toughest test yet, but well, what I feel like we're ready for. We, we were chatting and, and we, we spoke about, I mean, you've been shouting everyone out. You've been, you know, you've been, well, no, 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 but you've been, you've been looking for a fight. You, yeah, you know, yeah, no, no, in a bad way, in a negative way. No. You just wanted to test yourself. I just, uh, I just, I was two weeks out from a fight when all this quarantine lockdown stuff happened in the boxing ball. Was that our up. show at, um, with, uh, Trinity uh, Entertainment. Trinity Entertainment, yeah. yes. Um, I was two weeks out from that when it all got pulled, or even less, I think, 10 days. So, when you when it's that close and you feel ready to go anyway, um, yeah, I was itching to get a fight as soon as possible. Obviously, as soon as I heard things were going on behind closed doors, um, and that might be the only way to get a fight, um, and probably have to take a step up as well, like you we, like we say. Um, yeah, no, I was, I, I wanted to go, I wanted to fight. Um, yeah. So yeah. Well, like you say, uh, hats off to both of you. I've just been speaking to Mickey Ellison, who's fighting uh, almost two weeks before you on a similar scenario, you know, behind closed doors. Yeah. Uh, this is a Clifton Mitchell show, isn't it? It is the one I'm boxing on, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to have Harry Scarf on there. Don't mm -hmm. think we've got a opponent for him yet. But good top of the bill. Uh, we're going to try and catch up with Ben Fields. He's uh, he's fighting for the Midlands area title. Yeah, that's a good fight, that. Very well, he's never had a bad fight. No, he isn't, um, he The one I seen him fight was Nathan Bennett, which was, you know, really... It was, it was a close fight, wasn't it? It was a great really fight, fight. Was, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. One of those that... It didn't matter what the result was, whether mm. Ben had got it, which he did, uh, whether Nathan had got it, it was it was a great fight to, yeah. to be ringside. I had to be one of my one of my favourite fights to be at ringside. It yeah. was uh, it was uh, end to end action from the first bell to the last bell, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, but he's fighting uh, for the Midlands area title against um, uh, Spent uh, Alex Fury. Yes. So um, yeah, that's yeah, it'll be it'll be, a, be an intriguing fight. But uh, everything's going well here. Training yeah, really well. Like, like I say, we haven't really stopped. So as much as we're at the start of camp, um, it's important not to peak too early, isn't it? So we're just keep doing everything we need to do, constantly improving. Um, and yeah, we'll be we'll be more than ready. Come. You were telling me as well before that you've gone uh, full time. For yeah. So this year, so the start of this year was the first. I, I, I left my job and gone full time. Mm -hmm. um, Facts and sponsors, I'll send you over a little list if you don't mind. Yeah, Shout them out. Um, yeah, they've all, they've all helped me go full time. Um, and I, even that, even in the, the seven months or whatever it is that I've been full time, you know, I don't know, I've noticed a difference just in that, just refining everything. Yeah, um, well, I was asking you because obviously you come from Thai boxing, mm -hmm. the stance is totally different. Yeah, totally. Um, uh, you find now. Your mindset is, I, I think you said to me before, you forgot that you actually did yeah, anything else outside of boxing. I just feel like a boxer now, I don't feel like I've come from somewhere, I feel like I, I, you know, I belong in, in a boxing ring as a boxer. Um, 
I think that's just a testament to the hard work and everything Robbie's put me through and you know picking up off him and learning and yeah. That, that was a nice, I've not seen that trick before, the uh, the cup trick. Yeah, do you know what, that's the first time he's put me through, I've heard about it, but uh, just to test, test the mind at the end of a, at the end of a lap of the circuit, yeah. So. And, and looking very sharp, considering you're right at the beginning of the camp, eh? Yeah, I feel good, I really do. Uh, not start sparring or anything yet, so you know, there's all that to come, but... Have you got yeah. anyone lined up, anyone you're working on uh, No, not, not specifically yet, no. Um, to be honest, I don't know what getting sparring is going to be like right now. He, he's orthodox, isn't he? Um, he is, Ollie, yeah. Ollie knew him. Ollie knew him, he is, yeah. Yeah, um, I th yeah he's orthodox, his last fight was anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like I say, but I don't know how, how spars are going to be to come by at the minute. But, um, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure Robbie's got people lined up. And, yeah. the, the way things it looks like, everything's going to slowly but surely be back to normal. It does seem like it's picking up that way, doesn't it? You know, the football started again, the pubs have opened again, yeah. you know, it looks like the hairdressers. Yeah, <laughs> I've had a trip, finally. Yeah. I looked like Wolverine last week. I, uh, I yeah. don't need, I don't, I haven't got that issue no more. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it seems like uh, hopefully this might be your first and only experience to, to fight behind closed doors. Yeah, well, fingers crossed, like we say, hopefully we'll be the only one and we can get back to having crowds there because that's what boxing's about, isn't it? The atmosphere and the, and the good nights. But for now, while we can't, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, but something I, different and it's a it's a, a point that you probably look back on in, in your life and go, oh yeah, that was yeah. during the... I was one of the few. Well, yeah, it's only going to be the few, you know. Yeah. Box Nation are not doing too many. Well, it's Queensbury Promotions not doing too many. Uh, mm. They've just got the four shows on with um, uh, Match Room, match room you yeah. know. And just I think about two weeks before, as I was saying, Mickey Ellison is fighting yeah. um, uh, in Liverpool again. It seems like Liverpool's a. Uh, yeah. Do you know what the venue? Like I say, I, do you know what I've said it? I've not got the venue is is going to be really good for. Um, for the, cameras. For, for the cameras, for the behind closed doors scene, yeah. yeah. Well, I say it could be a new experience. Uh, what is it, pay per view then? Do people pay per view? Yeah, um, what's you know going what, to broadcast over? Uh, Iconic Sports TV. Is, uh, is that going to be on a YouTube or something like that? Yeah, no, so they've got like their own streaming platform where I think they're making an app for you, like your smart telly and your tablets and everything. So all right, you'd be able to just download it dead easy. Well, then we'll, we'll catch up with you a little bit nearer the time and all that. Yeah, once I get all the info, I'll put it out on my social media and all that as well and make sure people know we'll where to go. Out to get as well. it. Yeah, and, uh, brilliant. I say hats off to Clifton to yeah, get behind and get his fighters out and, and obviously giving you an opportunity yeah, to, yeah. to fight on there and have a real step up against uh, an unbeaten kid and you know you would have thought you know this a few years ago you know two lads fighting for nothing yeah you know it's like yeah. a six round it's, there's nothing six on the line nothing on it, no. except for bragging rights and someone who's always got to go yeah. well you know what it's a, and it's a it's a leap as well isn't it you know it is. uh, so and a great opportunity for you because if you do win then confidence wise it's going to be a big yeah, boost for you for going forward and yeah. the fight that i was i was trying to get to before with um Irius uh, virgo you yeah, know, this yeah, was yeah. big talk on the thing and have you spoke to him personally yeah, we spoke privately and um, sort of agreed to fight but obviously in the time of me chat Call them, not so much calling them out, but saying, you know, if, you, if you're looking for a fight, I'll fight you, yeah. sort of thing. But the, uh, in, in, in the period of that time, I've obviously agreed this fight um, on, on Clifton's show, it's all in your room, so, you know, I've got that to deal with first, but then hopefully we can get that on before the end of the year. Um, well, if you come through with yeah. the fight colours, then that makes it a much more bigger fight, if yeah, you know what I mean, because yeah. you've got a, a guy with a winning record on, on your, uh, yeah. on your uh, bedpost. Yeah, 100%. Right, well listen, good luck for the 13th. Thanks very much, Lee. I'll catch up with you before then. Yeah. And uh, well, we'll see how training's going, because like I say, you're looking in great shape already and we're, we're almost 10 weeks out. Yeah. Right, right mate. Thanks, mate. Take care. Bye. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.